Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. Again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you. So before we get into some baseball picks for April the 18th, we want to remind you to join and have access to the VIP club section where you'll have all the tools to help make your picks more successfully. So we're into the second weekend of the Major League Baseball season and already things are starting to heat up as some of the top teams are battling this weekend against each other. So we're going to take a look at some of these games. The first matchup we want to see for Sunday, April the 18th, is the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Washington Nationals. Arizona comes in fourth in the National League West, and the Nationals are bringing up the rear in the National League East. Both teams are struggling lately and are both ice cold. You see the Diamondbacks are ice cold down, and the Nationals are ice cold up. Losers of four out of their last six are the Diamondbacks, and the Nationals have lost four out of their last six as well, and have won two out of their last three. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Nationals are plus seven, and the Diamondbacks are at plus five. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see that Arizona is playing in games trending slightly over the line, Washington playing in games trending under the line, so I would avoid betting the over under in this matchup. If you want to see how consistent the two teams have been playing according to their favorite and underdog status, you see that uh, the Nationals are at zero. They have been very inconsistent. And Arizona is at plus six. The scheduled starting pitchers are Madison Bumgarner for Diamondbacks and Steven Strasburg for the Nationals. If you want to see how good of bets they have been as far as pitcher profit goes, the pitcher, pitcher profit oscillator shows here that Strasburg is at plus 784. He's been a very profitable bet. On the other hand, Bumgarner is not as profitable. In fact, he is in the red at minus 257. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You see that the teams have not played this year, and they did not play at all last year because of the reduced schedule. So what I think is going to happen here is that the Nationals under Strasburg will have enough to come away with the win. Now, there are no odds placed yet on this game. You'll have to wait until probably Saturday before that is set, but you will take a look at that and that will help you make your picks even more. And I have another tool to show you at the end of the video that's going to help you even a little bit more. Cardinals and the Phillies, Tampa Bay and New York Yankees. See, there's a lot of games. We're going to take a look at five of them, but it's a full slate of games. Here's Cleveland and the Cincinnati Reds. And this matchup against uh, with, between two teams from Ohio, you can see that the Indians are burning hot at the moment. They have won five out of their last six, and the Reds are ice cold down. Losers are four out of their last six. The Indians are in second place in the American League Central, and the Reds have been in first place, but you can see that they're struggling a bit now, so that is in jeopardy. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see the struggles, putting Cincinnati down from plus 17 just a few days ago to plus 10. And Cleveland is still holding pretty strong at plus 21. If you're considering the over and under in this game, look at this. Cleveland is playing in games trending well under the line at minus 4. And Cincinnati playing in games trending over the line. So again, I would probably avoid the over and under when the scenario is as such. If you want to see how consistent the two teams have been as of late, Again, you can see that the Reds are at minus three. They, are, they have dropped considerably as far as consistency goes, and that's probably because they have been favorites and they have been losing lately. And here's uh, Cleveland all the way up to plus 15. So that is very important as you take a look at this because Cleveland will probably be a favorite in this one. And one of the reasons is because of the pitching matchup. On the mound for Cleveland is expected to be Shane Bieber, and he has been very good and Wade Miley for the Reds. So I think Cleveland has everything going for them coming into this one, and they will walk away with a win. The Giants and the Marlins. Here's two surprising teams at the moment, both burning hot. San Francisco coming in with the second best record in the National League West, and the Marlins are third in the National League East. You see the Giants have won, if I can get this to work right, there we go. The Giants have won five out of their last six. And the Marlins have also won quite a bit lately. They lost their last one to, my, uh, to Atlanta, but they have won four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, 
You can see the upward trend now for San Francisco. They were at plus 16 on April 13th, and they have increased to plus 24. And the bar one's a big surprise. Look down here at plus 1 on April 10th, down near the bottom, all the way up to plus 27. That is the indication of how well they have been playing. You're considering the over and under, San Francisco playing a game way under the line. Look at this, the, the black compared to the blue. Miami under the line as well. This is a very good chance to win a bet, placing a bet on the under. You're looking at the volatility oscillator, how consistent the two teams have been. You can see that San Francisco is at plus 11. Miami is at plus 8. So both teams have been performing fairly consistently, according to their favorite underdog status. Scheduled to pitch for the Giants is Alex Wood, and he will be opposed by Pablo Lopez. If you take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator for these two, you can see here uh, minus 881 for Lopez, not a good bet. And even a worse bet is Wood at minus 2,430. So did not play, place a bet alone strictly on the starting pitchers because neither one of them have been profitable. Overall, I think this will be a good matchup in favor of the Giants. You know the Marlins have been extremely hot. So have the Giants, but I think the Giants will have enough to win this one on the road. Pirates and Brewers. Blue Jays, Royals. So a lot of good games here. Orioles and Tigers. Or excuse me, that was Orioles and Rangers. Mets and Rockies. Here we go. Minnesota and the Los Angeles Angels. Minnesota comes in last place in the American League Central, and they face the third place Angels of the American League West. The Twins are ice cold down at the moment, and the Angels are average down. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, they have not yet played this year. The power rankings indicator shows that Minnesota has dropped considerably. They are way down to plus six, and the Angels have been up and down, and they have dropped since uh, April 13th from 18 points to plus 11. Looking at the totals predictor, if you want to consider the over and under, Minnesota is playing in games trending under the line. Angels over the line, so I would say no for this. Do not bet the over or under on this one. If you look at the consistency factor between the two teams, the Angels are at plus 8. Twins are at plus 5. Again, both teams are fa they're fairly, fairly stable according to their favorite underdog stats. Again, the lines are not out there yet. The odds are not out yet, so we cannot look at that at the moment, but take a look again probably tomorrow. On the mound is J.A. Happ for the Twins and Alex Cobb for the Angels. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator for these two, you can see here 693, a very strong bet for Alex Cobb. He's been very profitable. And A.J. Happ has been as well as plus 573. I think that the Angels will win, though. They have the better team right now, and they're at home, so I think the Angels will win probably by a few runs. And we have one more game we want to look at, the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. These two teams are expected to battle until the end in the division in the National League West. Right now, the Dodgers are first in the division, and the Padres are third. The Dodgers right now are burning hot. They have won five out of their last six. And you can see the Padres are average status right now. And they have won four out of their last six, but have lost two out of their last three. Look at the power ranking indicator. See the Dodgers are up here at plus 26. And the Padres were at 25. They dropped to 13. Then they bounced back up just a smidgen to plus 14. You take a look at the totals predictor, the over and under. This is the Dodgers playing in games way under the line, as are the Padres. So again, this would be a very good chance to win some money betting the under. Scheduled to pitch for the Dodgers is Trevor Bauer and Blake Snell scheduled on the mound for the Padres. This should be an excellent pitching matchup, but I do give the advantage to the Dodgers. They are the better team. They are the better pitcher on the mound. Look for the Dodgers to come away with a road win. Now, I said I had something else for you to look at, and this is the Z-Code scores predictor. This is going to be very helpful. Now, not today. It's not showing anything, but by the time you're looking at this, maybe there is something up here. But right now, you see here, it's going to show you the two teams and the score prediction and the final score prediction. Let's go back a couple days to show you what it's going to look like. Let's go back to, to Friday. If you see here on Friday, here it is. Here are the predicted scores. 
and with predicted scores and the confidence. So this is going to be a very good tool for you to look at. See if they have it, if it's anything's up here for the 17th yet. Not anything for the 17th yet. So I would check back and take a look at this. But this is going to be a very helpful tool. So there you have it. Hope you enjoy the games this weekend. And we will see you next time.